Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about one very uh, long term existing uh, technology yet many of us are not aware of it. I have uh, done a decent amount of reading through to understand what is it and I thought I can share this with you folks. Digital scent technology or olfactory technology. Digital scent technology is often called DST and we are going to talk about it for the next 15 to 20 minutes quickly to understand what is it. We will first understand what is digital sex, uh, digital scent technology all or olfactory technology. Uh, we pronounce it as olfactory technology. Remember it is not OL, it is pronounced as AL. We will understand the role of olfactometers and electronic noses by end of this session. We will uh, then probably answer some queries if at all you guys have any in your mind after you watch this session. All these days if you see the technology had been running around with the visual sense and the sound variation. When you enter a theater, when you enter a mall, probably they will have advertisements that will be very attractive that can probably uh, um, reach you through the sound or through the visual sense. You will see and hear. Most of the things have happened this way. Haptics have even made a, a huge impact in the market. For example, when I am sitting in a seat which is haptics enabled, when there is a vibration happening in the theatre scene, I will also feel the vibration. Touch and feel also is there for a longer time now in market. But now the time has come where smell is also going to play a role. It is still in research. Most of the places it is still in research. Uh, I am going to tell you an example that will let you understand how exactly things will work. You are trying to buy a perfume online. You are shortlisting it. And how good it would be if you can smell the perfume's flavor on the screen. That's what we are talking about. That's called digital scent technology. I have a perfume here. I am going to shortlist and buy it through online. And I can feel the uh, scent's flavor and odor exactly from the screen. This is what we are projecting and this is called digital scent technology. And all these are possible reality though there is a lot of struggle there is a lot of failure that has been reported in the history we are sure this will come up in near future but history has not been in favor for the results right for this technology digital sense technology or olfactory technology is the domain completely dealing with olfactory representation what do you mean by olfactory uh, representation before it we need to understand what is mean by that term olfaction olfaction is completely all about chemo reception Chemoreception is nothing but the physiological process whereby organisms including you and me respond to the chemical stimuli. Olfaction is nothing but is a chemoreception. It creates a sense of smell. It helps in detection of hazards. It helps in detection of hazards, pheromones and fruit flowers. For example, my nose will tell me that there is something wrong in this place. My nose will tell me that this is a very pleasant smell. So that is exactly what we are trying to replicate in DST. It's just getting along with other senses to get the sense of flavor. It is not a standalone stuff which we can now work on with. We need multiple other stuff to come in in parallel and that's how DST works. So DST can be uh, defined as a technology that can help to sense, transmit and receive the scent enabled digital media. It can include the web pages, games, music and even virtual reality scenes. Sensing is carried out with olfactometers and electronic noses. We will see that little later. I will give you a quick overview on that as well but it needs a bit of time. Now it is time that we understand how things will work and how it had been in the past. Very simple. In a movie assume that there is a theatre and in a movie there is a pleasant scenic garden is appearing right now in front of you and the garden has got the rose flowers or jasmine flowers right away fully embedded there. Now the audience have to be given a feel of that rose or jasmine and this is what is called digital scenting. So what will we do? Very simple. The vaporizing gel pellets, pellets will be used and that is going to feed the odors. You can see that this four corners of the screen or even at multiple places I have got the uh, vaporizing gel pellets, pellets being used and it is going to give me the odors. It is going to feed the odors. Now I love fans at the corners that is going to make sure that this odor reaches all corners of the screen, all corners of the theater and so that everybody can uh, really uh, feel the uh, smell and the flavor. 
and now what will happen here for example the jasmine uh, scent is being or jasmine smell is being spread out and this smell will be reaching all the corners and every nose there would be able to identify and feel the digital scent the direction and strength can be varied uh, to reach the proper depth if there are more people or if the uh, seating length is much higher and if the number of seats are more i can vary that as well and this is called digital scenting this will get you more involved watching is what people feel but there are negative parts to it i'm going to talk about it later now i'm going to take a small product which has come in the market but to my knowledge it is no longer being sold or even manufactured uh, it's, it's a very inspiring attempt so i smell is the product's name there are three very, this is the product that i'm talking about i smell so it has got three important components one is the smell synthesizer another one is the i smell the the core component itself and cadridge smell synthesizer is nothing but it can generate different smells for example i can generate a smell of a, a jasmine flower i can generate a smell of a rose flower all will happen through that synthesizer smell synthesizer now what is i smell this i smell is exactly the device i am talking about it is like a small speaker it is connected to pc via an usb port and if you see we have got cartridges even available here this just like printer again it has got even cartridges and now what will happen is whenever the cartridges are emptied or completely utilized you can even replace it now this device will read the digital scent file the file which has got digital scent information based on that file's content i can now create a new smell out of 128 available chemicals stored in the cartridge the cartridge is a collection of 128 different chemicals which carefully is kept there in such a way that it can generate any of the scent smells that we want and that will be informed and instructed through the digital scent file all this happen really real time and most importantly then we have a fan that can uh, really spread this uh, sp scent and the fragrance on the screen now what is the cartridge all about the cartridge is all about the chemicals and natural oils and it is activated by heat or air pressure when the signal is getting received that's it and one encouraging factor is it is predicted that by 2022 this digital scent technology is going to be 156 million dollars market so there is a lot of scope now application sectors are many and plenty but many of them are futuristic e marketing is one such area i can quickly let you know that we have got a lot of real chances there in spread in using this uh, digital scent technology we are going to now quickly learn about e nose and olfactometer what is e nose e nose is just like a nose that's it we are trying to emulate uh, the real nose e nose can detect the odors and flavors a lot of developments have been happening in this electronic sensing area thanks to the growth of sensors the commercial and technical developments are already plenty and you would be really surprised to know that how old is this e nose technology it is as old as me it is 1982 born from then it has been evolving and this e nose can detect the odors and flavors the process is exactly similar to whatever we have in our nose first we will identify then we will compare it to some other smell that we already had smelled in the previous history we could have smelled that and we compare it then we will quantify it quickly and here since it is digital we will have storage as well as retrieval being included as part of it application sectors are really really plenty but understand the great alexander graham bell has given a warning he has clearly told that this is almost impossible and let's read his statement which says did you ever measure a smell can you tell whether one smell is just twice strong as other can you measure the difference between two kinds of smell and another it is very obvious that we have very many different kinds of smells on the way from the odor of violets and roses up to asafoetida but until you measure their likeness and differences you can have no signs of odor if you are ambitious to find new signs measure a smell this says how much tough it is this says how much challenging it would be now how e nose works we'll quickly have an understanding of what are all the very important components of e nose it has got a sample delivery system it has got a detection system it has got a computing unit the sample delivery system is the entry point and it sends the content into the detection system the gas content would get into the detection system 
Now the detection system will have sensor arrays, multiple sensors will be there. This is the reactive part to be very precise. The finding happens here. Change in electrical properties shall be used as the core idea for detecting which odor or which flavor it is. Then the computing unit finally does the core work of combining and summarizing the responses from the sensors. This is where you get the output. And applications are really plenty. We have quality control applications, water detection in the storage area, the perishable quality monitoring, one batch to another batch consistency monitoring in the production lane, detection of bacteria and virus in any given environment, air cleanliness monitoring. All these are possible. Still, not many results have been uh, provided. It is not encouraging, but still possibilities are infinite. What is olfactometer? You can see one in front of you. It is used to measure the water dilution. To gauge the water detection threshold of substances, we can use it. The intensity measurement is the core idea and an odorous gas is used as a baseline for comparison. I'll compare the already available odorous gas with me and I can compare it now. The study of the insect behavior in presence of an olfactory stimulus is famously done and we have a lot of references there. We have a lot of applications here. Viral and bacterial infections can be uh, predicted and it can be easily determined is what people say, but no implementations have been done. Purity and contamination of air is another uh, possibility where we can detect the uh, air if it is going to, I mean air quality detection is what essentially we try to say. So finally if you see, this is a technology which has been failing for a long time. Every time it failed, pretty expensive. And in the theater, if you have this technology, we see we have bad news. When we are listening to the movie so intensely and concentration is totally there on the movie, we don't even care what smell comes. Or let's take it the other way. If we care and connect so much to the uh, smell or so much to the uh, scent, we miss the track on the movie. So it's either way dangerous. So we are, we are, the results are not really encouraging and the audience don't really like it. And allergy is also reported. Only cash rich organizations can really attempt it. It is not a setup for a medium and growing or a normal scale organization. This would need a lot of research and at this time it is very tough to say that it still remains in the paper. Wherever they have tried, they have tried at few instances in US but still it is reported as a massive failure and I hope this session was useful and you can try your best at your academic level or at your industry level wherever you want to do a bit to this technology. Thank you very much for following the channel and the content. I hope you like this content and if you have any feedback, suggestion, input, Please go ahead and give it. Thank you.